Most of the objects come from a research project that I had been doing over the last year and a half, two years in an area in Vietnam called Quang Tri. Quang Tri sits right below the 17th parallel, which was known as the DMZ, the Demilitarized Zone during the American War in Vietnam. Because of where it was, Quang Tri was bombed with a ridiculous amount of ordnance. And a lot of the ordnance did not explode when they were supposed to. And I've been working with this community and working with different people in the community that are faced with the kind of challenges of living with unexploded ordnance in their land. We've taken the bomb metal and we've reconfigured them into kinetic sculpture that have sound. You're not supposed to touch the art, but I'm just gonna adjust this real quick. Along the stairway are a series of sculptural objects that have been turned into bells and mobiles using these old brass ballistic shells. So they were anti-tank shells. We've taken a material that was kind of used and designed to kill, destroy, and maim, and we've turned it into an object that has the potential to, to heal. It's essentially a mobile casted from a mix of bomb metal and stainless steel into a frequency, 432 hertz, that scientists believe has healing potential. When you're standing around this mobile, there's a vibration that you can feel physically. It's, it's a physical kind of experience. We've also invited some Tibetan monks in exile to come and give a blessing. It's called puja. The Tibetan monks chant and through their voice kind of create these soundscapes. And I think what they're doing is they're also trying to kind of get to this frequency, which is 432 hertz. And it's actually the, the kind of frequency that the earth is vibrating at. So what we're actually doing is we're getting in tune with the cosmic frequency of, of our planet. We've invited the Nang Tat and he's going to be activating the moguls, playing them like an instrument. He's also brought his Dan Mao, which is a monochord string instrument, traditional to Vietnamese music. So it's an exhibition that connects multiple parts of the world together. And, you know, I think New York is extremely diverse. And I hope that audiences can kind of find themselves in some of the work that we're exhibiting here at the new museum. When you're visiting a museum, viewers can't often touch the objects. And when these objects cannot be touched or activated by anyone, they don't perform, they don't function the way that they were meant to perform. I hope that we're able to create a space where people can come and find a moment of peace and a moment of kind of communal healing.